Welcome to Cincinnati Bengals Genius Show. I'm your host, Eddie Nashville. Disregard any sounds coming from the other room. I got a maniac kid playing NBA 2K, okay? I am disgusted by an article I read this weekend from Melissa Whitworth discussing her husband, Andrew, who we all know, of course, with his 11 years with Cincinnati, discussing how the negotiations went with uh, Troy Blackburn, who's basically a cross between Pat Sajak and a used car salesman, and Whitworth's agent. So they're going back and forth, right? Whitworth was dying to stay in Cincinnati. And the Bengals wouldn't budge. And Troy Blackburn actually texted this. We don't have Andrew valued at that price. He is an aging left tackle. Our offer stands. It will not increase. If he chooses to leave Cincinnati, all good things must come to an end, I guess. Troy, what are you doing, man? That's not how you talk to a respected guy in the locker room. Think about the other players, the other guys that are going to be in the same situation down the road. Use some sense, okay? You have to improve at evaluating these players. Just because someone's a certain age doesn't mean they don't have any gas left in the tank. As you can see now, which he's had some very productive years in L.A. Get smart, man. I wish I was a single man. I would make it Katie Nashville, okay? So get it together. Start cleaning up your act and quit being so involved with let the coaches handle these things. If a coach tell you a guy's worth it, you got to go above and beyond. And that goes for coaches too. If the head coach, Zach Taylor, is telling you a certain coordinator or position coach he would like in there, you guys can't tell him who to take. I don't know if the guys that are, have been retained by the Bengals' new coaching staff was actually instructed by Zach Taylor or if upper management was saying, hey, these guys got to stay. If upper management is doing that, that is a bad sign, okay? So let Zach Taylor operate, run the team, and definitely in the future show some better respect to our players that basically he's going to be a ring of honor guy if there ever was one. You're going to treat Geno Atkins this way? You better not, son. All right, that's it for the Cincinnati Bengals Genius Show. I'm your host, Eddie Nashville. Be sure to subscribe. Be sure to like. Hootay!